Everything I, I want to do is be an NHL hockey player. Matt Luff on a breakaway! Every game, I want to give a reason why you shouldn't be able to line up. He scores! Well, see, I'm just excited to keep playing every day in the best league in the world. I'm just grateful for every day I get to be up here. I got to prove that I can be a guy that can earn one-way contract. In the fifth round, I just started getting phone calls about camp invites. LA called me and they're like, well, I want to come. And LA was the first art team that talked to me when I was 18. I kind of gave him our word that if he came down here and showed this wasn't something we were just having a look at him and we were going to throw him back in the water and, uh, and let him swim away. That if he came down and showed and our development team saw what they thought we all saw, that he'd leave here with a contract. We preach to these kids that after the draft, it's really everybody's on a level playing field and you gotta work. And, and Matt Loft took that seriously. Did rookie camp and we were flying back to uh, LA and they just brought me into the airport and kind of said I was going back, but with, not without an NHL contract. So I think it was like 3 a.m. in Toronto. I was calling my parents and I was like, no one's picking up. And I was like, oh my God. And then we're about to board the plane. I'm fine. Get, my mom's like, is everything all right? I'm like, call me. So then she called me and I was like, I'm signing with the LA Kings tomorrow. And she's like, what? And I repeated like three times. And the next thing I hear, she's like sla slapping me. She's like, Kevin, Kevin, turn the lights on. I'm like, wake up. And then she's like, say it one more time. There's a lot to like about Luffer. There was a maturity level that we all saw. He came in as a young guy, as a rookie, and had to establish himself. Our development guys were raving quietly about the development of Luffer. And then you start to hear Stutz go, I like this Luff kid, I trust him. Once you've got his trust, that's a huge step in the process. Moves the puck ahead to Matt Luff. He has space in front of him. He tries the shot, he scores! I'd do anything for Stutz. If he needs me to go block a shot with no gear on, I'd do it at that point. I mean, he gives you a game plan and you gotta do it. If you don't do it, he's not gonna play you. And I think I learned that last year at the start of the season, you know what? If I didn't finish checks or if I shimmy out of the way of a shot, he would let me know. The biggest thing is, like, there is a side to him that a lot of other guys don't have, and it's a natural gift, a natural instinct, just to know where to be and, and how to play the game. Picked up by Ontario, a shot they scored. Matt Luck! With my time in Ontario, I wanted to interact with the fans and have fun, you know, just play the game I love. And, you know, when I finally got the call, I think, that's something special, like every kid dreams of it. I was so nervous and shaking, walking out for a warm up like, through a tunnel, and you're just like looking around, like I've been in like the seats, but I've never been on the ice. Stepping up for my first shift, like it's about to happen, and then, you know, we won too, so I think it's everything you wanted, like a win on your first NHL game, it's pretty cool. Razi, shoot me an invite. My wife and I were away for a weekend without the kids, and I was talking to Luffer, and he kind of asked, oh, can I live with you? How do you get off this thing? I think he sent a snap of like his house to our rank group chat, so I snapped back, and I was like, oh, do you need a maid as a joke? And he was like FaceTiming me, and I didn't pick up, and he's like, answer my face, I want to call you, so I call, I call him back, and he, uh, they're like, do you, well, do you want to live with us? And I was like, yeah. Like I said, yeah, around this party, do you want to think about it? I was like, no, like 100% I'm in. Hey, make me look good for this black and white episode. Gun games aren't my game. I gotta play NHL all the time with my buddies. Yeah, they have me as a healthy scratch, so I usually take out wags, <laughs> put myself in. It was an easy transition for us. He's pretty easy going. Um, Stay, I mean, he stays in his room and plays Fortnite uh, sometimes for, for a while, but he's up there playing mini sticks a lot with my son. One net right here, and then at the far end, we got my net, which is uh, by the one over there. I mean, we've had some good battles out here. They definitely treat him like a big brother. 
the door, a little chime will go off, and the kids will be like, is that Luffer? Is that Luffer? He'll come down my flight of stairs, laying on my door, you want to play? want to play? Getting my mind off things, getting to play some Mini 6 or Nerf Gun Wars or Laser Tag. I mean, being a point I am in my career, you've seen, it, you've seen it all, gone through a lot of things, and it's easy for me to say just keep working on your game, work on this, work on that, because I know the, the big picture and what's, what's important in the long run. I think he's willing to do the work. I think that's the biggest thing. Coming up in the minors and playing under Stutz, if you're not willing to do the work, then you're not going to be doing much of anything. I think every kid wants to work towards uh, being on a championship team and winning a cup, and you know, I don't think there's a better place to win it than in LA. Uh, I think when I look back, this shows me, no matter like, what's going on in my life, that I can turn it around. Back down low. Yeah. Luff scores! They show like percentages of like drafted guys, undrafted guys, and you know what? I'm one of like probably like the five percent of undrafted kids to ever play one game and to play 30 is you know what unbelievable, but I don't want to stop. I want to go for the thousand games. Barely this is the center ice scoreboard and Love cuts in and he scores! Matt Love! He's not gonna cheat you in this process. Everybody's gotta go through this. They, they gotta go through that process of you're in and out of the lineup and uh, you just keep working until it's all of a sudden the coach just writes your name down and never thoughts. You may as well put it in permanent marker. You're in the lineup and you're staying there.